thought we weren't opening up today. But we're not. But I wanted to keep busy. I can see that. You've scrubbed up all the pots and pans and washed out all the dishcloths. Marlon will be pleased. Did it help? Not really. But if I stop, I start to brood. It's only natural. I need to stay strong for the kids. How are they? Well, Vic finally went to sleep on the sofa and Daz is staying over. About Andy? He's gone back to the farm. He seemed to want to be alone. He's suffering too. I was sorry to hear about Jack. You were a good man. Didn't know you knew him that well. Oh, from years back. I remember when he came back from Italy. We thought he might have got a bit full of himself with the writing, so we decided to take him down a peg. We told him he had to pay for that fence where his bull broke through. He conned him. We tried to, but he had to be up early to fool Jack. He told us to take it out the stud fees we owed him. Red-blooded animal like that must have been through a few cows while he were in that field. Always careful with his cash. Aye. And he knew the land better than any of us. Friends ever since. Uh, I doubt if the Dales will see his like again. Is that what you came to tell me? That I'm not half the man he was? No, I never said that. You didn't need to. I know it's what everyone thinks, anyway. I came to pay my respects and offer any help I might be able to. Have a drink. Help yourself. It's good of you to offer to help. Whatever happened between me and Andy, Jack was always really good to me. I'm really going to miss him. We all are. Victoria's been crying all morning. So, um, how can I help? I thought you might persuade Andy to come and start pulling his weight. Ah, um, see, things aren't really great between us at the moment. Well, that's true for the whole village. Nobody likes him, but Diane's got enough to worry about without fretting over Andy. She's off to Spain tonight. We're going to organise the funeral arrangements while she's gone. He's the only one not left in a finger. No, no, you're right. OK, I'll try and talk to him, I will. No, I'll see you later. I could call Ashley. Um, could I, um... <laughs> Have another drink. <laughs> so, what sort of funeral does she want? I don't know. Well, perhaps you'd better ask her before she leaves. I don't know. I'll probably see the wrong thing and upset her even more. Oh. We all have our own ways of grieving. I'm sure she's just very happy that you're here to support her. Well, she shouldn't be. It's all my fault. What? It's ridiculous. I should never have made up those stories about your health and Rodney's. I've tempted fate. Fate has been around long enough to resist temptation by now. It's just very sad. But no one's to blame. Thank you, Eric. It's what I'm here for. Now, uh, <clears throat> could I, uh, could I have that drink? <laughs> I know you're upset. But I don't think it's a good idea to drink so much at this time of day. Just try and pull yourself together, eh? 